Okay, now in this video, we will gonna be working on registration form and its implementation. So let's just get started. Again, we we have just forgot one thing here. As you can see, type is button. It should be type submit. Otherwise, it won't gonna work. And same thing here. Type submit. Yep, this is what I need. So now we have to apply the functionality for the registration. What we will gonna do in our registration file on top of it, right below this header. So I will set if condition if post variable submit will hit so is set so if it will be set then we will have to simply use the user the object we just created above in our header file and then it will be a function that we will gonna parse everything and we will say register what we will do actually we will parse the entire post object and the rest of the work will be done inside the user file. It will be a public function register and it will take a value data so first actually we will check that does the email exist or not if we have already you know a user with the email registered in our system we won't allow any other person to register using that email so for that we have to run the query you know i will store the query in the variable and i will say select all user the table that we just created where email the column that we have is equals to and here we will gonna say data email because if you go back here registration file you see we have email field here so it will be post email so as we are parsing the post so it will be data email and then just simply run it this I will gonna say query and then we will parse this query above we just saved in our Q variable. So now I will gonna check if this query return any record which I will gonna access using number bros. It's a property that show us whether we have records retrieved or not. So if there will be email access that it will be obviously greater than one then simply I will gonna use session and in session again the same one error and it would be that's it and we will return it but what if we don't get a record then it's mean that email is not exist we will run the query insert into user and there will be a column then values so column would be name then email then password and what was the next token active And first value would be name, the second value would be email, the third value would be password, and the fourth value would be token, then active. It will be zero. We will again run the query. There will be again if condition. We are getting a password here, and for the password, we will decode it or hash it. So for that, we're gonna use function which actually do the password hash all we will have to do is to just parse the password value which is got from user and then we will have to parse the type of the algorithm we will gonna just use default one if you want more advanced then you can just you know go through the document and learn about it and one more thing we are not getting any token from user so we have to generate the token and for generating a token we have again a very awesome function that php provide bin to hack and then random byte and we have to define the length i will just gonna go with four you can you know add whatever you want and rather than passing this we will pass a token here the next thing that we have to do here is to check what if it will run after the query run it means the person got you know registered so we will have to do two things first we have to create the session for that user so the person can access the pages i will gonna add the restriction afterwards but right now you can access any page but this is not how it will work so the first thing will be session and the other thing is email the most important thing that we are you know creating this tutorial for so there will be email uh, trigger to that person and that email allow the user to activate their account after this stage we have got our user in our database the first thing that we'll have to do is to re you know retrieve that user so for that i will gonna create a function within the class get user 
it will be a simple function we will get the user by the email so we are getting the email here and now let's quickly create this function get user here it will gonna be taking email again we will run you know the same query q is equals to a string where email column is equals to dollar email simple as that and then there will be a run command this query and then we will parse q the which is stored okay now here the query will be run definitely it will run because we just you know registered our user here otherwise there will be else as well error session we could say something went wrong but here we are definitely sure if this query will run this would definitely be running we have to just get the raw here and fetch object it will give us an object of this record the user we just added and then simply we will return it and as soon as we will return here we will get this user here so it will be an object as soon as we will get the object here we can then send the email or whatever we want the first thing that we have to do is to assign the session for this user so i will gonna say session name would be user and there's one more thing it's a registration we haven't actually provide the access uh, token for our user so the the account will be inactive so in this stage we don't want our user to navigate around so we're just gonna give the session id so we can actually access the other part object id we will fire the email and for that i will again gonna create another function for email well actually we will gonna need user email and there will be an id of the user as well and there will be a token that we will provide because user id and token should be matched let's just go quickly down here and create this new function actually let me pull the basic structure of email so it will save over time let me explain subject would be account activation code so what i'm doing actually i'm sending a html uh, email to the person so it will be looking nice uh you know you can style that later your activation code and then we are passing a token the token that will use to activate the account and then here is the server name again it will be the host and then activation we are passing a first variable get variable active and it will be a token and then id and it will be an id remember i told you we will gonna give two possibility to the user first he can simply you know copy the token from the email and then paste in our activation page rather than that he can or she can simply just copy this email sorry the link that it will generate and then paste in browser so it will directly you know activate the account so if i go back to my function registration function here we will have to send the user back to activation page so for that i will gonna say error and then location location would be http protocol and then localhost user activation php registration has been done if i refresh here okay we have an error on line number four. Oh, i forgot to add semicolon there it's okay it's completely okay and there's one more thing that i have to do you see in each of the field we don't have a attribute of value we will gonna say echo post and then there will be a name this one should be name so yeah that's the thing i will have to copy it here paste it here it would be email we know don't have to do it for password we will get an error you see because so far there is no post request actually submitted so to prevent this error it's not actually error it's just a notification we simply have to add this at the rate before this variable see it's gone you see in our database we don't have any record so let me just create one now i was gonna say for us okay something went wrong you see we got the error in a nice way something went wrong and you see try to get the property of non-object in line number 21 okay quickly go and check line number 21 in user file okay man it is users not a user i have to change everywhere simply save it now it should work yeah it is working activation.php okay i just accidentally wrote the wrong name it's supposed to be activate 
activate.php, right? If I go back, refresh here for ROS. Email already exists. And I also have to remove this war dump because we don't want it. Email already exists because we have just stored here. It done all the process and redirect to the, the wrong page which was supposed to activate the PHP. It is pretty much working. But as you guys know that we can get the email in our local host. You can by, you know, changing the config file. But I'm not going to do it. Delete this. And then go back again and then hit password always missing. Now, great. So we got in our activation page. Great. And here is our token. And you see it's zero right now. So we can't access the pages when we will develop. Right now you can access any page. Even after login you can access the login page which is wrong. The one thing that you have to do is to add this one. We are missing a bit of a code here. So for that I will just go back here. You see we have provided the session ID here. So in our activation page where it is, where it is, activate here. So in here we will have to create the hidden field. Let me just copy this one and it will be hidden. I will name it ID. There will be a value and the value would be Go back and let me show you the section element here. We don't have this hidden ID here. So if I again refresh this page, we must be able to see this hidden, you see? And the ID value is two. So if I go to our database, we see ID is two. So if I again copy this code, paste it here, just assume that we just got the email with this token. If we hit it, then nothing will happen. Obviously nothing will happen because we haven't created the activation page yet. So that part will be done in next video. Bye bye for now.